I'm John Geddes of Maclean's Magazine, and I'm standing in the center block of Canada's Parliament Buildings, one of the most famous places in the country. The original building on this site was destroyed by fire on February 3rd, 1916. So 100 years later, I came to speak with Johanna Mizgala, curator of the House of Commons collection, about how this great 20th century building rose from the charred ashes of its 19th century predecessor. She knows about as much about this place as anyone. And in this clip, she talks about the office assigned to the leader of the official opposition. It's an incredibly beautiful space. So they, all of the architecture in the building is, is meant to kind of encapsulate different moments in Canadian history. So by the time we get to the official uh, opposition leader's office, it's sort of a mid to late 17th century feel. So it's uh, it's very intricately designed, incredible oak woodwork, um, teak and ebony floor, and then on the walls there are frescoes and mm. it's one of the only places in the building that has frescoes and they are encapsulations of the ways in which a leader must behave or inspiration for the leader so they are things like wisdom justice leadership i have to ask you about one detail there you were telling me earlier that there's a diary entry from Mackenzie King having to do with his mother's face in that room. Can you tell that story? Yes, so he talked about perhaps suggesting the face of his mother for one of the angels that's in, uh, in one of the frescoes. And so we know that he suggested it, but we don't know the rest of the story. Do we have a guess as to which angel, if you look on yeah, the thing? Yeah, yeah, we can see her quite clearly. And we know about King at the time, while this was all going on, his sister has died, mm -hmm. his mother has died. So, it, I mean, there's a natural affinity to sort of, if you're having an influence on the space, to kind of personalize it in that way. 